What is a life cycle assessment? By kscience.com. A life cycle assessment, LCA, assesses the total environmental impact of a product. So when carrying out an LCA of any product, the environmental impact of each step in making a product must be considered. It starts with one, extraction of raw material, two, manufacture and packaging, three, using the product, and four, disposal and or recycling of the product. So each stage assesses the total environmental impact of that product. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. As we've already learnt, an LCA of a product has four major stages. Extraction of the raw material, manufacture and packaging, using the product, and disposal and or recycling of the product. We're now going to consider the inputs and outputs of an LCA, and we're going to use a diagram of Earth to understand this. So the inputs of any LCA are which raw materials are used and how much energy is used. This will be unique depending on what the product is. One output of an LCA that must be considered is atmospheric emissions, for example, carbon dioxide. On this diagram of Earth, I'm drawing the atmosphere, and the more carbon dioxide emissions there are, the greater the environmental impact there is for the whole of humanity on Earth. Another output that must be considered is the dissipation of energy into the surroundings, represented by these red arrows. Another output are waterborne wastes, where waste material enters into the oceans, rivers, lakes and so on. And another output is solid wastes, which are waste material entering landfill sites and nature. The higher the inputs and outputs, at each stage of the LCA of a product, the higher the environmental impact of that product. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Now, the environmental impacts of an LCA can be divided into global, regional and local impacts. Global environmental impacts affect the whole of Earth, for example, global warming. Another example of a global environmental impact is the depletion of natural resources. Regional environmental impacts affect large areas on Earth, for example, Acid rain in Europe. Europe is a large area. Also, smog in, say, North Africa. North Africa is a large regional area. So acid rain and smog are examples of regional environmental impacts. To explain local environmental impacts, here I'm drawing layers of rock below the ground. And these buildings represent towns, villages or cities above the ground. And this is a river local to a settlement. Below the ground is groundwater and these green lines represent how toxic emissions enter into rivers. This is an example of a local environmental impact. Not only this but there can also be loss of groundwater local to the settlement. Once all of the global, regional and local environmental impacts have been considered, LCAs have a single impact score used to judge the overall environmental impact of that product. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
It is difficult to accurately measure the environmental impact of an LCA. This is because who actually gives the single impact score? Well, it could be the people who actually paid for the study, it could be an expert panel, or it could be an analyst who created that part of the LCA. It's very likely that these groups of people could give a subjective judgment that's biased or inaccurate. And if the LCA has no factual data, this can result in even more inaccurate estimates being made. And sometimes the LCA can be biased because the LCA helps companies with their product. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.